Where you want, boy? Where you want? Where you want? You just look for me, you just stay for me, so where you want? Where you want? What's up guys, it's your girl Shaka Bear and I'm back again today with another video. So I know it's been a while since you all have seen me. I know it's been a while since I've posted any video. And I know you all have been wondering where I was, what I'm doing and why I haven't been posting. So today is just a little bit of video. I was wondering what I could post because I know you all miss me. And I miss you guys as well. And uh, you all was, um, I know like i was sitting down wondering what kind of video i should post today what can i post today since i have nothing in my hand to do and i have nothing doing and what should i do today and i came up with this idea that i think you all might be interested in and stuff i'm not gonna make this intro very long because it's a story time and it's gonna take a while so guys please stay tuned for this video and also happy new year may you be blessed full with joy success happiness peace and success so guys please stay tuned for my video sit back relax and learn all right guys so as you all have seen down below in the title what i'll be talking about today so i'm trying my best to make this story time not too long but um entertaining also and stuff so it was last year um i started to work today is the what today will be the tens i guess yeah so yesterday was the ninth today is the tenth so yesterday would have make it one year so i just started a new work i was supposed to go in on orientation and started training the following day which would be the tenth so i went in on orientation the day um last day the ninth was a monday so i was going in on orientation and i was there so bear in mind when you're starting at a new you're starting a new work you're not gonna really know anyone you're gonna go there you're gonna make friends you're gonna meet new people and further on so i was there and you know what they're gonna say to you introduce yourself so that we can learn a little about you tell us about yourself and stuff what we can know about you and stuff so i was letting them know that i'm a youtuber i'm an influencer and you know i like to entertain people and stuff so i'm eating this yes so um while i was there um on the first day i the orientation went well so i the other day which was the thing that will be at that was a tuesday so i went on training the next so the following day would be so the ninth would be orientation the tenth would have been training so on the tenth now i went to training and i was in there and you know the trainers were, was saying to us introduce yourself tell us about yourself and stuff and because we had three weeks of training so while i was there i realized that on the first day i missed this part on the first day while i was at orientation and i came in there and i was sitting on my phone looking and was waiting to be uh, called in to get everything prepared and stuff i realized that this guy came in and he was looking at me very strange and he was looking at me like for a while and not stopping but i wasn't at that time i wasn't paying it any mind i was saying maybe it's because i'm a youtuber i'm also a tiktoker so maybe that's the way he's looking at me like that because maybe he saw me from one of the movie and so so i wasn't taking it to anything so after that no i was there the first day and i think i met a girl while i was going home we were talking and then that's how we we became we become friends and stuff and we were stuff right through training right through work i realized that while i was in training this guy continued to keep watching me i realized that 
everywhere i am he start he's always showing up at places where i am like if i sit in us like if i'm sitting here who will sit on the opposite direction like he's always everywhere that i am he's showing up everywhere that where i am and i was saying like why is this guy doing this because i don't know this guy from nowhere he didn't approach me he didn't say anything to me he was just always steering and he was always following me where everywhere i go everywhere I am for example if I'm going on lunch he's always there if I'm like everywhere if I am going home so I realized that one day I think it was after training or the first week after training I realized that um yes yeah, so before the training and I have a lot of because it's so mixed up so before training end like he was always looking at me he was always like if i'm walking in a direction he's always walking and acting like and he, it's like he want to bounce on me like he want to brush up like he just want to touch me like he's walking and he's walking so close and he's looking at me and smiling but he's not saying anything he's just doing all those creepy stuff and i was like why is he doing that like why are you doing that i don't know you and that is creepy black eyes i don't know you why are you following me why are you trying to walk and bounce up in me like that makes no sense because i'm not i surely that you can see that i am not interested in you because you can see on my face reaction like i'm saying like I was saying like you're always trying to get my attention and i don't give you any attention so why are you doing what you're doing so i realized that if um he will he tried to say something to me after like after a while he was trying to say something i'm like listen we are not the same thing and i turn him down same time let him know that listen i'm not interested in you so please just back off please right and also i after that now i realized that he's always following me i realized that if i am going home he's always what like the girl that i met that i told you that he was she was my friend so i realized that if um she and i like, will be going on lunch or we'll be going on break i realize that this guy pops up out of nowhere and if i look behind me like he is behind of me and stuff like every time me and um the girl and i are going on lunch or break he's always walking behind of us and walking close up so fast behind of us and i'm saying like why is this guy doing this like i would say like there's a lot of female here and i'm not showing you any interest so why are you doing this like why are you walking so close behind of me why are you doing that why are you following me i don't even know you from nowhere so i went ahead and i'm he i realized that every time i'm in training he's always looking at me looking at me non-stop looking at me if i look at this any corner like my eye always buck up in, in in his eyes and i was like why is this guy doing this so one day i was like yo where you look for me for where you want this a idiot boy man where you want boy where you want where you want you just a look for me say this a stay for me so where you want where you want when i did that now he ran went ahead and make a complaint and he told his side and they believe what they wanted to believe and they called me in a meeting and i was saying that listen i am not a fool i am not an idiot i know what i'm experiencing and i know what i am saying and i'm not the only person that's seen it because the girl that was my friend she was saying to me that listen you gotta be careful because this guy is showing up too much of i'm sorry about that guy so the the girl the female was saying to me which was my friend was saying to me like girl you gotta be careful because this guy is showing up too much of where you are he's showing up too much i remember that day that it was in the early stage in january as well while i was in the bus and uh, so i'm this type of person i notice everything i do not let or allow anything to pass my eye because in times like this with a lot of females that are missing and being kidnapped you have to look out of your eyes you gotta watch your back because you do not know 
the kind of people and wicked and witches and demons that are surrounded in this world surrounded in this atmosphere so you gotta watch your back anywhere you go because this world is not a safe place so i was ensuring that i was watching my back i was looking out of my eyes and i was making sure that yes i am protecting myself and i'm ready for anything because i'm not gonna allow anyone to take away my peace or my comfort or allow anyone to let me walk around in fear i'm gonna enjoy my life because that's what i'm here to do enjoy my life and enjoy time so i remembered one day while i was in the bus so i at that time i had an eight to five shift so i was so i left work at five i finished working at 5 p.m so the we have the bus that takes us in the town so the bus leaves at 5 15 every evening every afternoon after you finish the bus leave like 5 15 6 15 if you know you know so i realized that because i realized that sorry because i realized that he was watching me so I, I took the bus i realized that he don't he doesn't take the bus at all i realized that he doesn't take the bus but even though he doesn't take the bus he's always because there's a park where i stop where the bus where the bus stops and you go where you want to go to take drive to go home or go where you want to go and stuff i realized that even though he doesn't take the bus i realizes that even though he does not take the bus he's just like when the bus reaches at the location where i normally comes off he's always showing up there are he's just standing there just looking like you guys ever watch this mysterious movie i watched this movies with this people like this group of people in the hoodie the only thing he wasn't wearing a hoodie and they're just standing and staring at you when you look around you see but to be honest i wasn't scared but i was just annoyed because i was saying like i'm not showing this guy any interest i'm not entertaining him so why is he doing that like why bro and i was like i just made a complaint about you we just talk about this and you were saying that you're not following me you're not seeing me you're not paying me any attention and they took his side and was looking at me like i'm the fool and was looking at me like i was the idiot and because the work that i was doing it was my first time i had no experience so i got a lot of attitude and guan guan because i was hearing that i was the problem i'm i'm look i'm the one that's looking problem so i was saying like okay since i made a complaint now he's gonna stop because he's gonna see that i'm really not interested in him so he can back off that's what i thought so i realized that uh, the day i realized that all after a sudden he started to take the bus and i was like okay like why are you taking the bus i'm like it's not my bus if you want to take the bus though i'm saying like you don't normally take the bus so why are you taking the bus now and i was like okay so i was sitting in the bus i normally come off at my stop so i'm saying like okay i'm not gonna come off at that stop because i really want to see if he's really following me the first day that i he took the bus i realized that he didn't he come off at the bus stop i did not come off at the bus stop i went to another place to where i could get taxi to come home and i realized that and i was like okay the next day the next day remember i thought he's always coming off at the bus stop the next day i realized that he didn't come off at the bus stop he came off right exactly where i come off and i was like what so what i did know what i did know i just tried to dilly dally so that he could have followed me i know where i was going i was like who is this guy like why is this guy doing this i don't know you so why are you doing this so i realized i, I was so shocked so the the girl that we were friends she called me and she was saying to me that girl you gotta be careful if you have to make a police report you better do that no because this is getting out of hand she was saying like this guy doesn't take the bus he doesn't even come off at that stop the girl because the girl she was saying that he he and um they were saying that both of them co always come off at the same stop so he was say she was saying that 
how all after our son he's not coming off at that stop no more he's coming off your exactly you're coming off she was saying that girl you gotta watch your back and be very careful because this guy is creepy and he's getting out of hand and he's getting out of control that's not it no i realized that while i was at work while i was at work and i was in and i was in so and i was in my working area i realized that everywhere i sit he sits there everywhere i want to sit he sits there if i move he moves as well and if i move again he move and come exactly where i am so it was puzzling me i was like who is this guy is this guy someone that i knew and don't remember because I don't know this guy from nowhere and the worst thing part of it is that he's not attractive he doesn't have a look his odor is disgusting his odor is very very bad i'm telling you like he'll be in a room and his odor alone knocks everybody the hell out his thing i'm telling you and I heard a little news and rumors that his mouth is tink. No one likes him. He doesn't have any friend. I realize no one goes around him. He has nobody. He's just always popping up where I am, where I am, where I am. The most creepiest part about it is that even though I went ahead and i made a complaint about him and stuff and i wasn't i was like okay since he's not doing me any harm i'm not gonna pay any mind he doesn't know where i live and he any day i realize that he shows up at my location that's where it's gonna go down so at that time i was like even though he was doing that i was not paying any mind i was not giving him any attention and stuff so i just laid him off even though he was always showing up everywhere i am i just ignore him i paid him no mind i gave him no attention i just kept on doing my work and living my life the most creepiest thing that i realized with this guy it's like so we had our supervisor because we were on a team i think there was 15 of us on a team right so i was sitting here so let me one moment sorry about that guys so we have i don't want this to yes so we have based on where we are sitting this here is a partition it's not high but it's this is where because i work at a call center so who know how a call center sets up you know that you have a station station and section section of how it should sit so here is like a little bit of partition of where so on this side you have like the computer and the seat other person sitting over here this side now you have a other person with your computer sitting over here so just a little white broad thing part of everything and stuff so that you can kind of block out of the person about above you or beside of you so that they don't really distract you so that you can stay um you can stay you know in your position and they can stay in their position as well so i was sitting here i was sitting here i was sitting here because my station was right here so i was sitting here he was sitting like right here but he was sitting at, at where my hand is now so i was sitting on this side right here and he was sitting on this right here where my big finger is he was sitting right here but he was on this side but how we set up now i'm not directly in front of him like he's beside of me but he's in front of me if you understand what i'm saying i realized that after i'm not paying this guy any mind and after i'm not paying giving this guy any attention i realized that when i come into work at daytime his station is right here i realized that he's always tried to get like eye contact with me sometimes you see him sometimes you see him like in like in the computer and he's like bending over his eye like this and he's trying to come to come in front of me and look but what i did now i hold my head straight and i pretend because he's not directly in front of me like he's beside like so 
I'm right here, he's right here, but he's in front of me. So every time you see he goes like this and he's trying to get my attention and he's coming and he's trying to look in my eye, look in my eye. And I say he comes and try to look in my eye, look in my eye, look in my eye. And I saw he's that's how he's acting and like when he say that I'm not paying him any mind, I'm not giving him any attention, he gets up out of his seat and he get very arrogant and stuff hiss his teeth and fling down the chair and beat up the desk and one and prolong with a bag of things and that's how he's acting and stuff and I'm like this guy is crazy so I realized that he always has a scent on him like he always has a scent and that scent is not a cologne because I am a cologne person I love cologne really, really bad. I love perfumes really, really bad. So I know how, what a cologne scent is like. I love man cologne especially. So I know what a strong perfume is like. So the scent that he was carrying on, on him, I'm telling you, if he's five, if he's 10 miles away from me, I can stand where I am and smell it remember i tell you that i can stand where i am and similarly and i'm telling you i've never sent a scent like that before never so i know that the scent that he had and was not a normal scent i know that the scent that he has and was some form of demonic scent because I'm telling you, there is no way I'm going to stand way 10 miles away from you. And you're going to tell me that your, your cologne is going to be so strong. Your perfume is so strong. And the thing is that, guys, don't matter how, how like, we, we go to work, like, 8 a.m. in the morning. And you're going to tell me that even until 5 a.m., the the, the, the the perfume is still strong that you have to smell it to the entire day it's just so strong i'm telling you that if i'm way out there and he's right here i can smell it i'm like mm -mm. this is not a normal perfume this is not a normal cologne this is not normal so i realized that when he was there and he was trying to get my attention and he, re he was doing this i thing i thing and he realized that he was not getting my attention you know what the guy did the guy ensured that he came right beside of me one of my female one of my team members touched me and said to me that girl this guy is obsessed over you like she was saying that why is this guy looking at you every minute like why is this guy always staring at you she was, she was saying that girl every minute the guy looks at you every minute he's just looking at you looking at you looking at you looking at you no one likes him because he was smelling really bad he had no friend he had no one around him and i'm telling you that one day when he came beside of me one day he came beside of me and I was saying something to my friend and I leaned over and I said something to my friend. I got, my head started to hurt me and I got really, really dizzy. And I was saying that, no, this guy is not normal. This guy is not normal. This guy is doing some sort of evil. This guy is doing some form of evil. And this is not normal. I was saying that as I he came beside me and I was saying something to my friend, I felt so dizzy. Even though he was doing, I remember I was there and I was talking to one of my co my my co-workers. He wasn't on my team, he was one of my co-workers. And while I was, sorry about the knocking guys. So while I was there and I was talking to one of my co-workers and I was saying to that, you know that I see this guy, so I was saying that this is where I live and whatever. All after a sudden, when I told the guy that that's where I lived and stuff, all after a sudden, this guy pops up at where i am yeah so sorry about that guys i got a call so as i was saying all of our son when i told the guy like where i was living and stuff and we were talking and we were vibing and we were laughing and stuff all of our son when i told this guy where i was living this guy pops up at the taxi stand where i used to take taxi i'm like what what is this guy doing here like bro me never say yes or yet you're not normally here so what are you doing here and this is not where you live because 
in the introduction when we went on the orientation and the first day of um training we all talk where we live and where we stayed and stuff i did not talk where i live i didn't because i was like this guy is creepy so once he shows up at my address i'm like oh anyways so so like no far no i take it as a joke as i was like oh yes but at that time it was creeping me out because i was like who is this guy who the hell is this guy i was like no man this guy is creepy so anyways no he showed up at so at that time no i got really angry i got very i got very very angry i'm like no man this guy really really want me to come show my country y'all style for this office this is what i want me to get a while me say, oh the boy i so what i didn't know i went to her supervisor and i spoke with her and when i spoke with my with my supervisor and stuff my supervisor talked to the manager the guy said that i'm lying he's not seen me he's not paying me any mind he not even know me and he was like me not know this a girl yeah me not tell you see this a girl me not know if i know we are me only hear girls say me a follower so me not pay this a girl and no mind me not tell you see this a girl if i know me not know this a girl come from but your mom god you need, you need some prayer i'm like oh, okay i'm so listen i prayed every night and that's what carried me here so while i was there you know and even though i went ahead and complained two times no one believes me no one believed me no one believed me no one believed me no one at all so he continued continued doing what he was doing he continued he continued so i remember one day now when while he was trying really hard to get my attention and i was ignoring him as well comes like okay since that you're no one is taking it seriously i'm just gonna ignore you not paying you any mind not giving you any attention it turns out that the girl that i was friends with she some emergency so she had to left she had to left work so i was there by myself and stuff so the, when the girl left i realized that i was walking so he this he i was walking to the coming i was coming and he was going so while he was coming i walk and i hold my head straight like i'm doing now and pretend like i didn't even see him when he realized that i passed him you know what the guy did the guy turned back and was walking close behind of me if i had stopped he would have bounced in me i realized that he will be at work and like he will he'll just stand and just looking 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 like just looking like he's trying to get my attention but what i didn't know was i pretend like i didn't see him i pretend like i'm not giving him any attention i just hold my head straight hold my composure and look like everything is normal and i'm telling you no matter how i shame this guy no matter how i talk down on this guy no matter how i dealt with him no matter how i harshly and badly i treated him he didn't stop at all he continued to steer and look and look when i realized that i was there and i'm not and i'm not pay, and i'm not paying him any attention i was not giving him any attention the guy the guys he started to get very angry he got up out of his seat he was getting angry he was kissing up his teeth flinging down the chair beating up his desk and acting and he was getting up and hold put the whole up gun finger and i but i pretend like i didn't see him i didn't pay him any mind i didn't give him any attention i realized that he'd started to stress him out he was getting stressed he was acting some form of way but i know guy that this guy was like this is my first time experiencing a stalk but guys if you all want part two i can give you a part two but i'm not gonna make this video long and boring and if you guys have any suggestions of videos that i can make you can comment down below if you guys have ever experienced anything like this you can guys can comment down below because i was telling you that this guy was doing this for seven months straight he didn't stop
guys he continued he continued he continued he continued he tried his best he tried his best so if you want to know how he stopped and how he stopped doing what he was doing just please comment for part two if you want a part two guys and you see this video interested you can comment down below for part two and i will surely surely give you guys a part two so thank you so much for watching this video if you reached this far thank you for liking commenting sharing thank you for the support happy new year to you guys and i hope you have a blessed one please stay tuned for part two and comment down below don't forget to like comment share subscribe and don't forget to turn on your personal vacation bell for when another video will be dropping okay guys